Hello everyone and welcome back to the Class 47 Peter YouTube channel and I want to start off today's video by talking about what you can see in front of you. This is a Batman Ivor Class 2 2622T. Now this specific one was a Batman Collector Club Special Edition model produced back in 2009 I believe or 2008 and I've owned this model now for many years. I owned it since the year it was first released basically. I do remember having this as a Christmas present that year and being able to unwrap that on Christmas Day that was just awesome. And it's now the year 2024. I've still got this model. It was the first Batman Collector Club model that I got. So it is quite special to me and it's still going strong, no issues with it at all whatsoever. Now, this model depicts 41241 in the Keeplingworth Valley Railway Red Livery, which this locomotive carried during the reopening special. And this locomotive was actually repainted into this livery in 2018, during the 50th anniversary, I believe it was. And as of 2024, this loco is still carrying this livery. However, this wasn't the only locomotive to receive a livery like this. There was also another locomotive that took part in the grand reopening special train, along with this very loco. And that loco is also available to buy on the market. It's something that's been out for a number of years now, but I haven't got one until now and so I thought I had to get that one to go with this one so then I'll have the set shall we say and that model is just here this is a Backman USA dock tank produced exclusively for model rail and this model depicts 3072 in the Worth Valley livery. This was the livery that the locomotive carried during the Grand Reopening Special Train which was hauled by this and 41241 that you've just seen. Now these models got released seven years ago so I think if I remember rightly that was back in 2017 I think when these first come out. I do already own a USA dock tank however this was one that I had considered for quite some time but hadn't got one before. They are still in stock with model rail however there's not many of them left. There was, I think the previous week when I'm filming this video, there was six left but then just prior to buying this one there was only four of them left. I haven't checked on the website if there's any others left but I should imagine there's if there are any left now, there's just three of them unless they've all been bought. So there's not many of them left now in stock so if you're after one of these I would grab it whilst you can. I thought I would do so because I'm not sure if these are going to be reissued at any point in the future. So I thought now was the time to finally get my hands on this model. Right, so we're going to get this open for a change I'm going to do an unboxing that's not got sped up footage in it because that's what I usually tend to do nowadays but not for this one <sighs> but I'm not going to be going over the packaging so you have all the paperwork including the instruction manual But what's inside the box, this model, is what we're all here for. Then you have your accessory bag. Have a look at that later. And here we have the model itself, in all its glory. And first impressions, it looks stunning. 
Right, so this is going to be the model's first run because this is a brand new model, it's never been run before. And as you can see, she runs very smoothly. It needs running in, just like every new model. But she's running well in both directions, which is what we like to see. Very smooth as well, that. So that's great. And so here we have the pair side by side in the Keeflingworth Valley Railway liveries. And it's not only great to just have these in model form, but also to be able to own both of them as well. It also, that way, gives me the opportunity and the privilege to, at some point, recreate the grand reopening special train that was hauled by both of these locomotives and that's something I shall do at some point. And I just think they both look fantastic, especially to see them together, side by side. It's just taken me long enough to get number 30072 but I've now finally got one and I'm rather pleased with this, I have to say. Right, so I've come what I've done. I've removed the tension lock couplings, I've fitted a hunt magnetic coupling on the rear of the loco and something else I've also done, I've fitted the vacuum pipes as you can see. I might decide to add a couple of other details, possibly maybe removing this dummy coupling hook and replacing it with a dummy screw link instead and possibly maybe painting the whistle as well but we'll see now I will be honest with this model there were a couple of paint chips I had on it there was one on the chimney and one on the cab roof vent thankfully I was able to just touch those up because I thankfully just about had some matching silver paint. I know some people will be thinking well why don't you just send the model back if that's the case. Well the thing is I can't because I have just looked on the internet and they're now sold out with these. You can buy spare body shells though for all the Batman USA tanks from Batman Spares site on Batman's website. So even if I could return this I wouldn't end up getting a replacement basically. And I wouldn't really fancy paying 45 quid for a body shell, to be honest. If, just if it's one to replace it, just for the sake of a small few little paint chips, which as I say, I've managed to fix those. Now I have to say, I think the Batman USA dot tanks really are fantastic models. There are still a couple left in stock over on the Model Rail Offers shop site. So if there's one on there that takes a fancy I definitely recommend going for one or if you can perhaps find a pre-owned one at a good price somewhere you know it is worth going for I don't know if Batman are ever going to produce these again for model rail or whether they'll decide to perhaps if it's possible maybe release some of these into their own range I don't know whether that happens or not I'm not sure but I would definitely recommend one when you can get one because like I say, I think they're great models. I personally can't pick four with them. This is the second USA dock tank that I own. And I think they're great models. It definitely looks like a USA dock tank if you was to go and find one of the preserved ones in the Heritage Railway today and put this model up against one. It looks exactly like the real thing, to be honest. The motor is sound, I mean the one I already own I've had since it was first released and never had any problems with it. Detail is fantastic, just everything about it is, it's just brilliant. I also really like the livery. I know this is not going to be a livery that's going to be to everyone's liking, it's going to be Marmite I would expect. 
there's bound to be some people out there that don't like this livery that's all well and fair enough but I like this livery because it's something different and you know it's nice to have a bit of livery variety in the fleet I think in my opinion but you can definitely see just how different this, this livery is compared to that of 41241 over there that you can see in the background two very different Keithley and Worth Valley Railway liveries but both are correct to how there was in real life but I think they're different and unique I really especially love the livery on 41241 I think it looks stunning and really suits it the livery on that of 30072 is going to be Marmite especially with the silver smoke box and cab roof I don't think that's going to be too many's liking I'm sure but I think it looks different it's certainly a very striking livery I think and I really like it Here's the other USA dock tank that I own, DS237 Mournsel, in this lime green livery with the BR Lake crests. Something I have just done with this model actually quite recently is fit the drop plate just on the front here. I never fitted this to this model before, but I decided to. And it's just fitted in place using a few blobs of black tack. Just in case maybe at some point in the future I decide to remove it again. But I do actually quite like it with it on. Recently though, I have been in two minds about whether to maybe do a, a body swap on this one. Because as I mentioned, you can get spare parts for the USA dock tanks, including bodies, on Batman spare site. In fact, you can buy all the body shells for all the models that Batman produced for model rail. So I had been tempted at some point to buy another body shell to click onto this chassis, basically. But, I don't know, the more I think about it, the more I've decided not to do that. But the idea still occasionally was around in my head. But I do really like the green livery, but, you know, the idea is open for it in the future. If I was going to do a body shell swap for this one, I think I would probably go for the Longmore Military Railway livery, I think. I am really proud though to have both these models, both DS237 Mournsel and of course 72 in the Worth Valley livery. You know, like I say, again, I just think that they're both great models. They really are superb. So, for one of the few ones that are left, if the ones that take your fancy, then like I say, I'd definitely go ahead and recommend you buy one. Even if you decide to go for one of the spare body shells as well on Batman's site, you know, do it because they are great models. Like I say, I don't know if we're going to see these being released again. I don't know if we're going to see them again in the future coming into stock with Model Rail. Should they decide to do another batch of these, or perhaps maybe if Batman can be allowed to release some for their own range, who knows. But you really have to appreciate the attention to detail that's gone into these. These aren't low quality or budget models. They really are superbly detailed items. Even right down to details such as the handrails on the smoke box and all the rivet details steam piping etc it's all fantastic even the detail on the back head inside the cab is a marvel as well right so a couple of things I did off camera first of all I've replaced the dummy coupling hook on the front of the loco with a dummy screw link coupling I do think that looks a little better and also I've also painted the whistle it was more or less the same colour as the safety valves there. But I chose to repaint the whistle because I think now it does stand out a little better. And what I've used is Revel Gold paint. And I think that's a slight improvement. So I think what I'm going to do now is do a running session with both locomotives. This hasn't been a review on this model, I've just showed it off. And I have talked a little bit about the model and now I'm going to 
show it running around the layout. And we'll also get 41241 running as well on the other line, so we'll get both of them running. So, one other thing I quickly want to talk about in this video is progress on the layout. I know progress since the last update has been slow. There have been a, a little few things that have happened. Nothing major as such, but that will be coming. I've decided on possibly next, thinking instead of doing near to the station area that I've already completed, which I mentioned I was going to do in the last update, I'm thinking of going to be doing the area down there instead and then leaving that area over there by the station area adding things like back scenes and retaining walls and so on later on but we will see but that's the plan I don't know what I'm going to do but you know well I've put it off for one reason or another yet <laughs> But progress hasn't stalled or anything, it is still coming. So we'll get these models running on the layout, and then that will end the video. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you like what you see, please do subscribe to the channel, it doesn't cost you anything. Don't forget to hit the like button, feel free to leave a comment, and also, why not check out all my other videos I've got on the channel? But until next time, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.